Britain's age where social poverty was rife when it stars Nicholas Paul, who can tell us more about it. He joins me in the studio now. Nicholas, thank you very much indeed for joining us. So tell us why you feel that today's society has returned to the Dickens era. Well, I think it's very pertinent um, to where we are, you know, housing, lack of work, all the other things, and poverty, which is the streets. And the writer, Dean Johnson, has um, very cleverly worked that into the whole plot. So basically it's a reworking of A Christmas Carol. And, uh, you know, the sort of, so the Scrooge and only by another name. Uh, and, of, and of course we do have the rise of um, food banks as well. And yes, exactly. And play, it's still a huge concern, isn't it? It is, it is. There's a lot of poverty out there and a lot of, you know, people with their hands out on the street. And it's not really being, um, it, you know, addressed, all of that. So I think the play is an attempt to say, isn't it interesting? And also the, the city and the financial side, you know, that's all very rich and then it's very poor. So, you know, there's a great, um, you know, diversion between the two. So, you know, it would be interesting to see what the audience thinks of it too. Cool. Now, tell us more about this um, play, because of course it features feature, um, spoken word and song. Tell us yep. more about what people can expect. Well, okay. yes, it's, um, it, it is spoken word, and there's uh, a couple of lovely ladies, um, Jane and Leah. Leah's got a wonderful voice, she sings. Dick, of course, who wrote it, um, also sings and plays guitar. And Jane, I think, will be doing um, you know, some of the dialogue in between, which tells a story, you know, pushes the story forward, which is good, uh, which is a familiar story, but it's just updated. And how long is it on for? Just one night? Just the one night. One night only. One night only. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk a bit more about you then, because you've been away for quite some time. What have mm. you been up to? Oh, I've actually done lots of things. East, East Enders was one. Um, footballers, wives, um, lots of other things on, in between. I also write. I write children's books. And uh, I'm halfway through a trilogy. So uh, hopefully that'll get done. It's called the Timeline Trilogy. So that'll be good. So that was, that's because I was going to ask you about your future, um, your future projects. So of yeah. course, the children's book is um, it's one of them. Well, it is. Yes, I I wrote one about thirty years ago uh, for some kids, and of course I kept coming back, and they they say tell us again, tell us again, <laughs> and. I thought, well, I'd better write this down because I keep forgetting. It ended up as 40 verses of doggerel uh, <laughs> about the further adventures of Tweedledum and Tweedledee. So uh, they used to love it. So, and then it became a book. Then I illustrated it. And, you know, from, from there on, it, it was great. It's published in America. Nicholas, thank you very much indeed for coming in to You're speak to us welcome. just for one night only. For one night only. <laughs> thank you. Okay, next, when you think of Croydon, you probably don't.